Hi, I'm Roman the Keller Golfer and this is how I play the course. Good morning. Today we are on the other side of the Scottish coast, meaning in East Lothian, and I'm playing the Renaissance Club. The Renaissance Club will host the men's and the ladies Scottish Open this year, so I'm very happy to be able to shoot a course vlog here today. It's surrounded by some other high-class golf courses like the Honourable Society of Edinburgh Golfers, Murfield, North Berwick or Archerfield Links, which is just around the corner. The course itself is rather new, I think it was built in 2008, more or less. So far by the first impression I have today, it's an absolutely fabulous course and I'm looking forward to playing it. Hope you enjoy. So I'm joined by Ross today. Thanks for having me. <laughs> That's, uh, and Ross is helping me choosing the tees. Um, we will try to, to hit the same, more or less the same tees as the Ladies Scottish Open will most likely play. Yeah, let's see how we go. This tree is pretty much in play, yeah? so you want to be on the right side. That would be. So here we're looking at 108 meters to the front. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so the right side of the fairway, right? One five five meters to the front and one seven six to the pit. Nope, that's way to the right. Tree, 190 yeah. to the corner tree there, mm -hmm. so we can, we can take a pass there. Okay. We'll cut over nice. The yeah, and if I remember the T-shot from the from the visual, it directs you everything directs you into that bunker, right? Yeah. You really have to force yourself to keep to stay right. That's a classic risk and reward thing. I risked it and ended up in the bunker. Oh, too fast. Oh, not that bad. He's fast. Five meters to the front, and I would say this one's going to play close to sort of 155, 160. So, as you can see, although it seems that the shot into the green is not uh, very long, it's pretty elevated. So, I actually had a, almost two clubs plus into the green. Thanks for that. 
short par four, probably drivable for the for the big guys. And today, with almost no wind, we're heading. We you said pretty much to the flag road, right? Yeah. Okay. There we go. I like the old walls. It's always nice. That's a couple yards too much. Simple as that. Got just a lovely double breaker of over the hill a bit. <laughs> What are we having? Okay, so short par three here, 117 meters mm -hmm. to the pin. Ideally, you want to play something 130. Okay. And that green, once again, is way smaller than it looks. Huh? Go! Come on! What a day, what a view. Cut. Meters in. Let's see what we can do. Oh, go, go, go. Just in case you're wondering why I'm not playing the black tees, I'm standing on the eight uh, black tees. It's 511 yards, at least yards. To the green. So this is what happens when you hit a good tee shot but end up in a lovely greenside bunker. I mean, not that the hole is already difficult enough, right? But I'm happy that I'm in the bunker and not in this stuff. But on the other hand, the bunker, the bunker lip is not here, it's actually there. <laughs> This is a beautiful contrast here. I mean, the one was just nowhere, and now we're on the coast. All is opening up with the walls on the right. What a beauty. What a day. There we go. What a fake. <laughs> so I'm walking down here.
to the t-shirt of the new signature hall of uh, Renaissance. It's the King's Barnsley style next to the coast. Lovely hole on a beautiful day. So you probably have not seen it. Caddy has just uh, moved away. Uh, he was standing in the middle of the ferry. So I'm going for the dark tree and there's just one little tree going over it. Um, yeah, straight shot, so to say. Gonna be interesting semi-blind shot. This is second.
plenty of pin positions, yeah? And Ross just told me if you, the pin is now back here, you should probably use the back slope and try to let it run back. But the pin position we have now, today, in this bowl, it's not as easy as thought. Is it? So this is it with the round. I'm standing here on the 18th green, pretty much at the, pin, at the possible pin positions for the Scottish Opens this year. So I hope you enjoyed my walk around the course and how I play the course here from Renaissance Golf Club in East Lothian in Scotland. Of course, if you liked it, hit the button, give me a subscribe or a comment, leave a like, of course, <laughs> and hope to see you soon here at the Keller Golfers. Bye.